Welcome back, adventurers. We're back. So we're just moments away where these gates in front of us are gonna swing wide open and let us into the streets of Calico, where we hear there's ghosts, witches, werewolves, creepy crawly things in the night running rampant. So we're gonna check it out. I mean, it's ghost town, go figure. There's probably monsters everywhere. But we're gonna bring you guys inside, see what to expect. I, I don't even know what to expect. It's been like, unlike Universal, it's been way longer than seven years since I've been here. I've but never been here. There's gonna be some mazes, some scare zones, a lot more by the looks of it. They have shows, and they also have quite the creepy menu. We'll show you guys what those look like once we get inside. But what are we waiting for? Are you ready? Join us on this Dream Park adventure. I'm officially creeped out. We got monsters of all kind here. They got people walking on the floor, all fours on their knees. Oh, hey. oh don't touch me, don't touch me, don't touch me. Oh, man. It's not even dark, it's, it's scary. It's so, I can't see where I'm going. <laughs> the scariest part about this is not the monsters or the fog, but it's hearing people on the other side of the fog screaming bloody murder. You can't see them, so you don't know if they're bleeding out or something, but you can hear them from like a mile away. You won't go any higher than yourself! Well, we made it to our first line of the night. We're heading over to Mesbury. I kind of don't really have any preference as to what maze they go in, because right now they're all on an even playing ground, so I don't really have any expectations, so the bar can be, the bar can be set anywhere. We're gonna try this one first and then see where that leaves us. Three, death symbolizes the breaking of the ties to reality. The night cuts the flesh as well as the mind. Two, ex animate vivus remaneas. One, together. What in tarnation? She was some exorcism right here. What kind of witchcraft was that? Focus on my voice. Oh, yes, I'd love to see it. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. Oh my god. Some sooner. Some tick tock, tick tock. It will never stop. What is she doing? I don't know. Are you okay? Breathing on my neck. Uh, right, I'm moving. God, she's still coming. She's still coming. Ooh. Ooh. I got you. Oh, I got you. She likes you. What? Oh, oh my God. Why? Why? I can't take it! The slithering images of the Zoetrope but reality isn't broken into frames. <laughs> Camp Snoopy has been transformed into a very dark and sinister place this time of year. Very, very different from last year when it was Taste of Halloween. Very kid-friendly, 
but it's not as busy as Ghost Town. Definitely a little bit more empty in here. Maybe we just haven't hit the fog yet. Maybe we just need to walk a little bit further in. kind of missed the little beginning of it, but we got the gist of it. They were playing drums and they were casting some spells, a little potion, a little Harry Potter stuff, you know. It was good. If you're right over here in Camp Snoopy, next to the Pumpkin Eater maze, then you can stop by. They have a couple show times throughout the night. Nothing special, I would say. Not like a must-see, but if you want to do something and you have some downtime, stop by and see it. It's a quick, like, 15-minute show. And there's not much else going on in Camp Snoopy anyway. There's a scare zone here and they got the drum show, and then they got the maze. A lot of the other mazes we're finding are on the other side of the park, so we're gonna have to head over there and kick off the rest of our night because we are short on time, as always. Uh, it's time to head into the pumpkin eater maze. I'm already spooked. This makes me want some pumpkin pie right now. Ah! Oh, oh, the table scared me. Woo! Oh my goodness. I can't see, I can't breathe. I hate pumpkins. I hate them. <laughs> Ew. Rats are snacking on some legs. No, leave, me, leave me alone. I didn't, I'll never eat a pumpkin pie again. I swear. Hello. Hello. He's gonna eat me. No. No. Never again. I'm never eating pumpkin pie again. No carving pumpkins. No, no, no pumpkins. Poor Crystal. She was a front runner. She had front row seating. There were rats. Yeah. There, were, there was a bunch of nasty in there. It wasn't fun. So I was really excited when I found out that there's going to be some Halloween festive foods here for two reasons. One, I love sushi. I'm a sushi fiend. Love it. All kinds of sushi. Two, I love candy corn. And they have a little candy corn in here. Kind of weird. I don't really want sweet stuff with my sushi, but I love candy corn. Most people think it's a throwaway candy for Halloween, but I especially love the little pumpkin ones. So when I found out that they were doing candy corn inspired sushi, I was like, might as well give it a go. So the Halloween sushi crab roll is what they're calling it. And it looks like it's dusted with Cheetos. <laughs> I don't know. They give you a little sauce on the side, probably like a little sweet and sour sauce. I'm not gonna lie, my hopes aren't really up all that high because it's sushi from knots. But I'm gonna give it a try anyway. No, not really feeling it. It doesn't taste like Cheetos. They got cream cheese, crab wrapped with rice and soy paper. It honestly just tastes like supermarket sushi. It's not really all that flavorful. Sauce gives it a little bit of flavor, but I think it's a way for it. There's plenty of other good stuff in here. I wouldn't recommend the sushi. Well, hearing that response from Michael makes me a little sad. I was looking forward to the sushi, but I guess it's supermarket sushi. Also, I had the chance to hear Ordinary Adventures on their take on it, and Kitra wasn't too excited about it either. So we're gonna cut the chit chat, let's get straight to it. I don't think those are Cheetos. <laughs> Definitely not salmon eggs. I don't know what that is. <laughs> there was no flavor. I was at least hoping I could taste that imitation crab. That's a sad piece of sushi right there. Definitely sad. Never again. But that is A-OK -okay because we have a backup option. The petrified cheeseburger, which is made with two cheese, no, actually pepperoni pizza looking buns. So the only thing they did was add these little pizza buns, throw a, a patty in the middle, and we got ourselves a petrified cheeseburger. I like that. I like that. I'm not gonna hype it up too much. The little pizza buns that they use definitely taste like the pizza you had from elementary school when you wanted to buy lunch. And But the, the patty's good. It's not dry or anything. Nice combination there. I like the pizza flavor added to the patty. Really good combination compared to just a traditional hamburger bun. So I like it. I like the petrified buns. Worth it. Ooh, hold on. One thing, a little inside tip. Although the petrified cheeseburger is from Sutter's Grill, we got the sushi here at Boardwalk Barbecue. And so, you can get the little boysenberry barbecue sauce or mild spicy, whatever you want. 
So you can just add that to your petrified cheeseburger. It's way better. Double worth it. Well, that's good news to hear. I do enjoy some big juicy burgers. Let's check out that cheese, actually. Ah! It could be better, but no complaints. Since Michael recommended the poisonberry barbecue sauce, I'm gonna go ahead and dip that right in there. Ah. Oh. Maybe a little too much. Here we go. Well, that was fascinating. Not the juiciest of burgers, but it gets the job done as far as satisfying your hunger. I would consider this a worth it. Petrified cheeseburger, solid. Get it. You're the man. Burger good, sushi no go. Now that leaves us with bellies full. We're gonna hit the rest of the mazes. We still have six to go. Time flies by quicker here because you do have one less hour in the parks, at least for tonight, than Universal Studios. They close at two, whereas Knott's is closing at one tonight. So we're gonna have to hit the ground running. We're gonna go to Dark Side next, and we're gonna head over to the Calico side of the park where they have a lot more of the mazes waiting for us. So, join us. So as promised, we're going on Dark Ride, even though it's not really a ride, it's a walk through maze. <laughs> Oh, I don't Why know. Are you here? I don't know. I thought I was supposed to come in here. <laughs> Whoa! Okay. Was there scoot down there? <laughs> Clown nightmares. Clown nightmares for days. That's okay. Clown nightmares. Oh my gosh. It smelled. On my sweat in there. You know, although we've just done three of the eight mazes so far, they've already like blown Universal Studios out of the water. I, I have to say, Mesmer probably set the bar really high. We should have saved that one for last because that one was really good. But Pumpkin Eater was also good. Dark Ride was good. So now we're gonna head over to the next one, which the next one. I think is called the Depth. But in order to get there, we have to go through this part of the park, which is what I like to call the crazy corner. We got all the evil clowns oh. running, oh, running amok. Like me. And we have a long way to go, so let's try to get over there without Please. getting clowned by. There's too many clowns. There's too many clowns. <laughs> Woo! 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 Candy, 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 candy. Woo! <laughs> oh, so devilish. <laughs> <laughs> so demonic. Did you see her eyes? <laughs> oh my goodness. Wait for it. See, the thing about clowns is that you don't need fog or like strobe effects for the clowns to be scary. Clowns are just scary on their own. So forget all the effects, you just need clowns. And there's a ton of clowns. Oh. <laughs> there's tall clowns. All right, well now the, oh no. I, oh no. Oh no. <laughs> I can save some. I, I can. I can. You want? Yeah, that's good stuff. I just want my shake. That's good stuff Please. right there. <laughs> it's a matcha shake with a witch's finger, and it's already melting on the sides out of fear. I'm not gonna waste any time. Ooh, refreshing. You know, it would have tasted great on its own, but the fact that we were just scared out of our wits by all the clowns, it tastes better. It tastes like matcha. What do you expect? I don't, what, what is it? Oh, that's a huge, that's a big finger. Let's try it. Oh. It's like a shortbread cookie with a peanut or an almond on the end. It tastes really good when you dip it in the matcha. This is a total worth it. You can only get it at Coaster's Diner, so if you're making your way around this corner to the other side of the park, or maybe right after you get off Mesmer, 
stop by and get one of these. Really refreshing, I have to say. All right, one witch's finger matcha shake coming right up. <sighs> it's already creamy, a little melted, and I kind of like it like that. So, without further ado, Whoa, still a little thick, never mind. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Woo! Yeah! I think at the bottom, it tastes more like strawberry jam, I want to say. It's nothing like chocolate, but I still find it pretty darn tasty. So I would say this is a good dessert. I would definitely get one of these again. So yet again, folks, we have another worth it right here. I lied earlier. I thought the next maze that we were going to go on is the depths, but that's actually a little bit further into Calico. So the next one we're going on is Origins, right over by Pony Express, and it's time to get out of Clownville. So I'll hurry up. It wasn't huh? me. We got nothing to say to you, it all right? You to the us. Us, all right? You snitch it out. Oh, yeah. The place you want to go is the blind tiger down the street. Ask for Max. Understood. Make sure you give Max the password. Okay, what's the password? If I knew the password, I wouldn't be out here selling newspapers. <laughs> to get where we're going next, we had to walk past the Charleston Circle Theater and then go through one of the other scare zones, number four, which is Goring 20s. Pretty cool, it's a little small scare zone on the back side, kind of behind Pony Express, but then you come around this way towards the Mystery Lodge and you end up at Origins. Strongest one, but also not bad. So that's our halfway point, and now we have the four left on Calico side, which is kind of all back lot behind Ghost Rider. Four more of those. We have an hour and 15 minutes. Can we do it? I think we can. If you look right over here. We got the smorgasbord of mazes. We got the depths, paranormal ink, dark entities. But the first one we're going to isn't on the sign. It's Waxworks. So I feel like it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be like the Wax Museum in Hollywood. Or I don't know. Let's find out. So it seems like it's kind of thinning out, even though it's opening night. There's like no lines, like literally no one. So just walk on. Please help me out on it. I can't see anything. Something dripped on me. I don't know how I felt about that one. It was kind of weird. All those wax melted bodies. Yeah, I, I, don't know, I liked it. It was pretty good. Besides, I'm getting sprayed with some random substance. And the real villain is here. The real villain? What are you talking about, man? What's <laughs> up? Hey, man. Tonight has been an absolute scare fest, dude. So we just got out of uh, uh, Paranormal Inc. Bro. <laughs> Bro, the bar that, high. That one, that one, and the depths. Those two are very, very high in my book. Like those were like insane, Ooh. insane. Some but strong finishers. Oh, without a doubt. I think these two have are better than Mesmer. Yeah, Ooh. that's it's saying a, a lot. Slap. That's Ooh. saying a lot. It's a slap. Good to see you. Yeah. Hope now you I'm gonna hold you to it. If these don't live up, then I'm gonna come back for hey, you. Hey, listen. Like I said, it's a slap. <laughs> <laughs> well, you heard the man. What are we waiting for? We got three more to go. The last two are hard hitters, so let's go. Fish people, fish people everywhere. I knew there was 
gonna be fish people. It smelled like fish. It smelled like fish back here. It's because of them. And then there's there like Davy Jones in there, and then there's like Jaws. I think that's like copyright infringement on Universal Studios. But we won't tell anyone. We're gonna go to Paranormal Inc. next. Welcome to Haiti Hill Sanitarium. This is the final season of Paranormal Inc. So we're glad to have you here tonight. Welcome to Paranormal Inc. You can do it, I have faith! Screw this! You guys, everybody stay calm! I'm gonna try to make contact. Hello? Can you hear us? What is your name? Hello? Hello? Yeah. Oh my god! No. Hello? Oh my gosh, you're upside down! Oh my god! Paranormal? Was not expecting that. I, it was like, I don't even know what I was expecting. Everyone just started jumping out from every angle to the walls. People were upside down. That one was pretty cool. One of the better ones of the night, so. We have one more in store. One more. One more in store. So let's go check it out. And that last one is going to be Dark Entity. So Chris also said this is a really strong finisher. Hopefully that's the case because I don't want to end up being disappointed by the last maze like Michael Myers. So let's see what kind of Dark Entities we'll encounter. The future awaits for Brutus. Among Us met zombies. Like something on the space station went horribly wrong, everyone gets contaminated, and they all start becoming alien, soul-sucking people. That's what it is. That was a good one. I'd say that one was pretty cool. It was uh, a big switch from what we were used to seeing with all that old Western-style stuff, calico and zombies. But now we got to go to space, so that was cool. So we managed to do all the mazes, all eight of them went through the five scare zones and with time to spare, it's about 15 minutes left until the park closes. And there's only one thing left to do, funnel cake. Everyone should leave room for funnel cake. Make sure to grab it on your way out. Hopefully we can catch them before they stop serving because it is 15 minutes until park closing. So we're gonna make our way through Calico, head over to Sutter's Grill and see if we can grab ourselves a funnel cake. Look at that Hello. thing right there. Holy smokes. Knott's does not mess around with their funnel cakes. This is no exception, let me tell you that. This is the murderous midnight funnel cake. What do we got? We got some blackberry or boysenberry probably, some kind of compote. We got the soft serve, a classic staple. And then we got some kind of gummy, I don't know. Looking quite murderous. It might actually just be the end of me. It might murder me tonight. Kenny actually pointed out that these are gummy body parts. Oh no! Oh gosh, I dropped the ear. Well, it's a bloody ear now. Cause that's the ear. This is the foot right here. And then, I think this is a finger? Ooh, it's a floppy finger. Yeah, that's really good. I love cannibalism. This is actually really good. I taste the lemon. Lemon's coming through really strong. Wow. This is where it's at. I love this. I don't know what you call it. What do you call it? Like a, these preserves? It's probably the best thing I could call it. Mmm. Those are really good. Make sure to have water handy because you will need it after all the sugar. This is a definite worth it. If the park hasn't closed on your way out, make sure to stop by one of the stands that sells it. We got Ghost Town Grub, we got Sutter's Funnel Cake. Get the murderous midnight funnel cake. It won't disappoint you. It is a worth it. Oh, wow. I've been trying to find you all day. And now that I have you right where I want you, I like to eat some funnel cake. Ba -da -ba 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 Ooh. I don't know how I feel going into the gummies first. 
It's over, folks. No need for me to say any more words. It's late. It's been a long event. I don't know how to explain how good this funnel cake is right now. I just know that it's delicious, worth it, and a perfect dessert to end this spectacular night. Thank you, not Scary Farm. From the petrified cheeseburger to the witch's finger matcha shake to the eh, candy corn sushi roll, there was so much that we packed into this one night. Even though it was a slightly shorter event, we managed to get through all the mazes. We have so many good things to say about Knott's, and we're gonna recap it all with you once we get to the gate. First, this ice cream needs to go somewhere, and there's not much room left. So, we'll catch you guys in the front. We survived. Who would have thought? And Knott's Scary Farm turned out to be a huge success. It's been so long since I've been here. Just, I think the only park that I go to regularly for Halloween is Disneyland. So I haven't been in one of these places like Universal Studios or Knott's in such a long time and it's such a, just a change of atmosphere. It's so different from what we're used to, but it was so fun. I think now that we've gone to Knott's and we went to Universal first, Knott's kind of like set the bar a little bit higher. So next year I'm expecting a little bit more from Universal because they kind of fell short. I think Knott's really came out on top with the mazes, the scare zones, and I said I wasn't gonna compare and contrast, but Knott's really stepped up their game. And with this being my first time at Knott's, compared to the two times I've been to Universal Studios, mm -hmm. Knott's was the better scary event. They kinda had me on edge, I'm not gonna lie, I was a little spooked. They got me, they got me. They really outdone themselves. I mean, the mazes were just different because at Universal we felt like they were kind of falling into this category of just a lot of loud noises, screeches, just things that made it unpleasant. And chainsaws. And, and chainsaws. They like chainsaws. No chainsaws here. In fact, a lot of the scaring just was just element of surprise, lurking in the shadows, looking in the fog. So it was just catching you off guard when you weren't expecting to be scared. Yeah. They got you. It was really good. I really liked the practicality of their mazes. Not a whole lot of reliance on these like special movie effects, which I, I mean, Universal Studios, but there's just a lot to love about Knott's. So don't think it's the underdog. I think it's very comparable right to Universal Studios if you're looking for somewhere scary. Plus, if you're in Orange County, much less of a drive and cheaper. And way cheaper. And cheaper. Way cheaper. So come and find out for yourselves. I hope that these videos are helpful for you to decide which one you want to visit this holiday season. And if you want to see what else is in store for the season, for fall, Halloween, even Christmas. Christmas is right, right, right around the corner. Oh man, it's that time of year. Make sure to follow us, like, and subscribe, and we will keep you updated for every park visit that we do. You already know. Tell your friends. Tell them all. It's free. Just hit the subscribe button below, and we will see you guys on the next Dream Park adventure. Happy Halloween.